Uh, one of the reasons that I initially chose Charge of the Light Brigade as the poem to read for uh, this project was the sort of last stand feel of it, kind of. Uh, as you, If you've read the poem before, you know kind of how it begins and ends. Uh, there's a greatly outnumbered cavalry force. Uh, in historical context, it's a British cavalry unit charging against uh, Cossack and Russian forces, and very few of them get out alive kind of like a last stand, but, uh, yeah. Uh, growing up, I read, I like to read, uh, a lot of books and, um, some of the things that stood out the most to me were last stands in history, kind of like last chance for an army to have like immortalized glory to be remembered forever for a heroic, brave deed. Uh, a number of the things that are like this battle of Thermopylae, uh, 300. A lot of people have seen that movie. The Spartans held the pass against a, huge Persian force and knowing they were going to die, but still decided to do it anyway in order to save uh, the city-states back around. I can't remember the date. Um, also, one of the, uh, another event much later in history um, was the Battle of Bastogne uh, during World War II, which was in France, mainly, I think it was late winter 1944, in which uh, American forces were pushing to, towards Germany getting pretty close, and uh, the town of Bastogne was key significance um, to uh, territorial getting into Germany. And the, by this point, the American forces were spread pretty thin. So, you know, it wasn't really smart to extend that far, but uh, the call came through. And uh, those of you who've seen Band of Brothers um, know that uh, one of the companies that went is Easy Company. So they parachuted in there and almost instantly surrounded by, I think it was 15 divisions of German like infantry and heavy armor, and they managed to hold it and win the battle, which is just incredible, the bravery to go up against that many opposing enemy soldiers with like almost assured destruction. It's pretty selfless. Two formal elements that I think help convey the poem's effectiveness so well include the repetition of phrases, such as cannons to the right of them, cannons to the left of them, cannons ahead of them, into the valley of death, um, into the mouth of hell, really helps convey the sort of overwhelming force that the British army is charging into. And it, the repetition of it keeps hitting the reader, knowing that there's almost a certain death for the writers. And then the other formal element that I think um, helps convey the poem's effectiveness so well is the sounds. Because it really puts the reader, typically the audience probably doesn't have any wartime experience, but the, the sounds of the swords flashing and the cannons firing, the onomatopoeias, the constant use of those kind of puts the reader in sort of like the heat of the battle. The Charge of the Light Brigade by Lauren Tennyson Alfred. Half a league, half a league, half a league onward. All in the valley of death rode the 600. Forward the Light Brigade, charge for the guns, he said. Into the valley of death rode the six hundred. Forward the light brigade. Was there a man dismayed? Not though the soldier knew someone had blundered. There's not to make reply. There's not to reason why. There's but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the six hundred. Cannon to the right of them. Cannon to the left of them. Cannon in front of them. Volleyed and thundered. Stormed out with shot and shell. Boldly they rode and well. Into the jaws of death. Into the mouth of hell rode the six hundred. Flashed all their sabers bare, flashed as they turned in air, sabering the gunners there, charging an army, while all the world wondered. Plunged in the battery smoke, right through the line they broke. Cossack and Russian reeled from the saber stroke, shattered and sundered. Then they rode back, but not the six hundred. Cannon to the right of them, cannon to the left of them, cannon behind them. Volleyed and thundered, stormed out with shot and shell, while horse and hero fell, that had fought so well, came through the jaws of death, back from the mouth of hell, all that was left of them, left of six hundred. When can their glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made. All the world wondered. Honor the charge they made. Honor the light brigade, noble six hundred.